So anyway, it stayed very, very dark today. I'm shooting this video not very long after I shot the last one, and the sun was supposed to be up there somewhere. <laughs> Never showed itself. So that Red Dodo battery was getting too low for my comfort to sleep throughout the night without thinking about it. And I want to sleep. So anyway, I had this tied up and was showing you guys that it was down to, oh, roughly 25%. Uh, there's absolutely no solar coming in now. The battery, like I said, has performed exactly as it should. No problems there. Uh, works really, really well. But uh, I didn't want it to go down lower than 25%. Thought about maybe sticking the generator on it and then didn't. So I slid the Red Odo out and slid the Power Queen in. Now this was uh, sitting off to the side fully charged. So I was just kind of hoping to run that experiment with that Red Odo uh, a lot longer and it would have without uh, being five dark days in a row basically and especially the last couple. So I was hoping for better results, uh, but the battery wasn't the fault. It was just lack of sunshine. So anyway, I've always got a couple of spare batteries uh, charged up for this kind of a situation. So I had to interrupt the test. Slid this in, fully charged. It's still sitting at 98.7. Refrigerator has been running, no solar coming in whatsoever. Let's see if the fridge is running right now. Yeah, pulling 70 watts on the fridge right now. Uh, the last of the light uh, for the day. 400 watt array, pulling 39 watts. The battery is in, in great shape. As you can see, a running load, 13.24, 13.25. That's about normal under... Uh, a load is what they dr quickly drop down to, but that battery is full. And the thing that I had to do on here was once I slid that power queen in here, uh, I had to tell it that the monitor, of course, come back and tell the monitor that it was 100% full and change the amp hour rating from 300 to 200. So now it's accurately monitoring the drawdown uh, based on a 200 amp hour battery. And just to tell you, as soon as I hooked it up, it was only getting 20 watts of solar uh, through the charge controller here. And it, because the battery was full, that 20 watts kicked it up into absorption mode, which was kind of cool to see even on just that little bit. And with it plugged in, of course, the refrigerator wasn't running. And then as soon as the refrigerator started running, it dropped this back down into starting a new bulk charging phase. Uh, nothing's going to happen with that the rest of the day. But anyway, when you do something like that, if you, you pull out a battery uh, that was running like that Red Dodo, and then you slide in a spare that you had ready to go, and you're running a battery monitor, you'll have to make sure that you reset the battery monitor to what's going on here. Hopefully you use a fully charged battery so you can just quickly tell your battery monitor that that's 100% full. And then you'll be right back to just being able to look at the percentage of it and know where you're at. So that'll be down probably about 80% in the morning, maybe less. It's going to be kind of a cool evening. So it's been pulling about Oh, I, I want to say about 10% of this battery because we've used this one in an experiment before. So, And now what I'll do is tie that Red Odo into an, another little auxiliary standalone charging station that I have. Solar panels uh, we will charge it right back up and it may take a while, but it had a spare. Decided, of course, not to use the generator. So that's the way it goes. Uh, always glad to have some spares around. And although that Red Odo is now sitting with just a 25% state of charge, it was not going to hurt it to sit like that for a while. And 
uh, as soon as the sun comes up, it'll start charging on that uh, other little charging station I've got. And I accomplished my main goal. Didn't take but a few minutes to slide that battery out, put another one in that was fully charged and ready to go. So we're playing musical batteries right now. <laughs> yeah, it's dark. Anyway, just wanted to do a quick follow up on that. I guess I'll head back in. All right. Aloha, everybody. Hope you're having a great weekend or had a great weekend by the time this video gets posted. We'll see. Yeah, I can hear another generator way out there in the distance. Everyone's kind of in the same boat. But so far, so good. No gas yet. Ha, <laughs> ha.